Hello everyone, Adam and Yan here, and today we're going to be playing some XCOM 2. And this is actually going to be some post commentary, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. For now, we're just going to start with all the DLCs, uh, with War of the Chosen, Alien Hunters, and Chen's Last Gift. Let's do this. Apologies for that, I just skipped the first cutscene because this is my actually my third playthrough, and I didn't really want to watch through it. But, first mission. We're heading into the city center to strike a big target. Something that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building all these years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. Yep, so for this mission, we have Gladney, we have Ariel, we have... We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Yeah, we have um, Heinrich, no beard, Weiss, and we have... Um, I've actually forgotten. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Yeah, so this is actually just a post-commentary, uh, mainly because uh, uh, I can't actually do uh, live let's play because it's just inconvenient for me because my gaming computer Menace one five. You're near the target position. is in my uh, family study and I just um, can't really distract them with Get that done. however I have actually completed this playthrough already I can say that we have what uh, that I did win but <laughs> spoilers but um, yeah I think this is one of my favorite playthroughs overall so that's Erica Fate Baker that's Gladney, Rania, Aj, Adram. I'm sorry. Roger that. I'm just gonna be mispronouncing names all, all, the, all over the place. So we're just getting closer to that target, uh, setting up an ambush, and hopefully we'll um, be able to destroy them. So I'm just thinking um, at this point. Uh, if I, if I can get in close enough, but I realize that the line of sight is crazy good, especially on the flat land, so I can't really get any closer. So I, I'm setting up a Overwatch ambush. And Erica Baker for the first hit. Oh, and a very lucky start, indeed. And those Overwatches will trigger. Is that a shot? Yes. Glad he hits it. Ariel and no no beard. I'm getting promotions all over the place. Nice. A very cleanly executed ambush indeed. So I'm just gonna start moving Seems all my terrible. soldiers right out. Ariel, um, no beard. Heinrich, <laughs> you know the story about uh, because uh, these soldiers are actually all custom made, most of them. Uh, ma made by me, except for the um, a few other soldiers, uh, like one or like two or three soldiers that I took from the XCOM two barracks because they were just too epic not to take, um, and the the designs were really cool. But other than that, um, especially this set of soldiers, I designed all myself. And the story behind Heinrich No Beard Weiss's nickname <laughs> is, I just re I rolled a random character and um, I got. A dude with a beard and I was like hmm, what is what will his nickname be and I'm like wait <laughs> no beard what I don't know what I call him no beard <laughs> I don't know it's just so retarded but like it was just so funny to me at the time I was just like wow I don't know because <laughs> the joke is that he actually does have a beard and his nickname is that he has no beard <laughs> you get it you get it but yeah so we're gonna move all our soldiers up I'm moving pretty defensively here uh, just hoping that I don't run into a second part of enemies just yet, especially with my final soldier. Because um, the thing is, in XCOM 2, if you hit. see the enemy, they can see you. And uh, essentially, you want to ambush the soldiers, enemy soldiers. I'm picking up this uh, package uh, with the beautiful and sexy Ariel. And we, we're just gonna overwatch here. I should also mention that I have a ton of mods. I will put the mods in the description uh, if you wanna have a look yourself. But um, yeah, we ha actually have quite a lot of mods here. Uh, yeah, so 
I think I'm just moving in, trying to catch that enemy pod. Except, I move in too far. <laughs> I have to take the enemy pod. Yeah, these officers are, are deadly, especially this early. Um, I didn't actually get to use a grenade in this mission, unfortunately. Um, but I'm just kind of regretting my decision right now. <laughs> Um, at least me in the past was, uh, because I, I've moved Ariel too far up and she is now being flanked um, by all these three soldiers. I should also mention that, um, oh yeah, so, I'll have, so I have to move back, move her back, uh, and overall we're pretty safe because most of our soldiers are in full cover or just way too far, um, but I should also mention that I do load quite a lot and I do apologize if I do because <laughs> I don't know I'm just kind of the kind of person who can't stomach my soldiers dying I can stomach a wound but <laughs> I'm just the kind of perfectionist that I don't know I just can't do it okay so Erica takes a shot 50% Oof, and that's a nice cinematic might, might put that as my thumbnail actually you now thinking about it so we're gonna just move right up um, uh, I think, what do I do here? I cannot, cannot remember what I do. I think I'm just checking to see if there's any full cover around. Uh, thing with XCOM 2 is the best strategy really is to move then shoot. So then, uh, you get, so then once you get close to the enemy, it's much easier to flank. Yeah, so I just hunker down, I think. And just, that's a lucky whiff, um, on Heinrich. Please hit. Ooh, that's a whiff right there as well. Oh, come on. Ooh, unlucky. That's an unlucky here. shot uh, on on fate. So no beard. Uh, goes in for the shot. I really feel like I should have should have moved up there actually. In hindsight, um, I actually take a huge risk here with uh, Erica. Fate Baker because she is uh, the lowest, uh, has the lowest health, but that was a really good shot. Okay, so I'm just thinking uh, if I can get a flank here. I also have the mod, what do I call it? I can't even remember what it's called. I think it's target? Confirmed. I can't remember. It, wait, it has a, that's what's happening with the left icon. So I can you. see if I can hit an enemy. Uh, if they're in the firing range. Yeah. <laughs> Grenades, the most OP tool in in um, XCOM 2. I really underappreciate no them. Problem, boss. Uh, but we're gonna move in. Hopefully take out this general. Ooh, and that's a miss. It and it's really bad as well because <laughs> I thought that was a flank flank really. And just right here, I'm just, ooh, I'm just regretting that. So <laughs> I'm just gonna load because I cannot I don't know, just for a first mission, I'm just like, no, I cannot do this. I cannot have one of my soldiers die. Not this early. And actually never, because <laughs> I can't tolerate my soldiers dying at all. So I'm just rethinking this situation right now, what I should do. Uh, not exactly. So, cool. so yeah, so I'm moving her into cover. Even though I do know that it's high chance to flank with the general, I'm just focusing that general down because he is deadly. He's got a mark. He can mark uh, and shoot and move in the same now. turn, which is pretty bad. I think I move her up into the open. That's actually a pretty big risk, but I, I choose not to risk that 50% shot this time and instead just go for the guaranteed kill on that. Uh, grunt soldier, or oh, advent, advent soldier, I should say. Here I come. And I have a few people in uh, reserve. I have Heinrich with that grenade. If I do miss, and I do miss, which is pretty bad. Um, what do I do here? I can't remember. Now. I think yeah, I, I think I just go for that nade for that guaranteed grenade. kill. And as you can kind of surmise, grenades. Are 
definitely OP in this game. In a game about a chance, guaranteed, ch guaranteed things on multiple enemies as well, he is actually crazy. That's why. And there's not really a huge uh, damage, like, uh, sorry, there's not a huge disadvantage to using grenades in this game. Unlike in XCOM 1, uh, where where they had the, like, the, you lost the corpses if you destroyed them. But yeah, overall we did finish this mission. Um, Status confirmed. and I think is clear. it was actually done okay it should. Um, even though we did have one injury slightly annoying this early in the game because they will be gravely wounded unfortunately so we're just gonna pose our soldiers get a good thumbnail <laughs> uh, yeah overall yeah I really just really love XCOM 2 I have I, I I played something like five playthroughs, of course, like only two of them I actually played uh, quite a lot. This one was the only one that I did finish. Um, I did add a lot of mods to this one, but not as much as my fifth playthrough where I just added infinite enemies. Like, I just made it, tried to make it the most difficult playthrough uh, that I could with adding like so many uh, enemy mods, but um, I just couldn't stomach it at the end. So overall, I just chose this one because to do a let's play on, because this is my favorite one overall. I just really love this 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 uh, War of the Chosen feature for thumbnails, because like I now have a folder with all the <laughs> the different thumbnails I have um, on all my battles, and it is great. It is such a beautiful thing just to look at all memories I made in this game. Yep, so, successful mission with all the soldiers coming back unscathed, <coughs> except for Ariel dying once. <laughs> yep, so, some good, some good loot that we got. Commander to the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Yeah, so that's Tigan, our chief scientist in XCOM 2. Without access to refined fossil fuels, power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, Recovered Advent equipment is highly coveted. Greetings, Commander. Yep, so I... <laughs> I played a little bit of XCOM 1, I and I still have to say... ...area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. I have to say that Tigan is my favorite. Commander to engineering. Compared to... Compared to Valen from the first one, I, I do really love this one. Anyway, we're not... I have uh, the commander's choice mod, so I'm just gonna choose what to promote my soldiers to. We have the beautiful uh, Molly Ariel Wilson. I did design herself myself. Um, I'm actually the Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range.
yeah, she looks bloody epic <laughs> as a ranger. And I, I just feel like every time she's she has to be the ranger, I just have like certain feelings about all these characters uh, being a certain a certain class. I don't know. I've always just felt that Erica Baker would be a a grenadier and and. Because I've played this a few times before and it just feels like it suits them. I don't know why. What about it? Maybe the gas mask. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Oh yeah, packing the firepower. Grenadiers are some... I, I think Grenadiers are... They're good if if you don't have someone to trade off. But and also, uh, yeah, they're grenades. But to be honest, in this playthrough, I didn't make too much use. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. I also do have a mod in this case, which allows allows you to pick the extra skills uh, once uh, you get the training center so you can actually re-roll the skills the extra skills which means that you can create really really overpowered soldiers later I mean just wait until you see some of my sharpshooters which just are absolutely crazy commander to engineering okay Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but I'm here. I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed at what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Oh, gonna love. <laughs> gonna love. You'd be Jen. surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Yeah, it's just a little sad. Do you ever regret leaving the city? You must miss some it's of it. It's a little it. sad. Um, Food, that a warm bed. That Shen, Honestly, none of that really bothers me. Shen's father what and her backstory, but I really love her backstory as well. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Advent probably had a pretty nice <laughs> life set up for you. There was certainly no shortage of resources. Oh, you mean Advent burgers? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure the commander will find something nice for you. Thing is, yeah. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Yeah, I just love the premise of XCOM 2 overall. Commander, we're attempting off contact with a local resistance faction known invasion. as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Yep, so this is the overworld gameplay of XCOM 2. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. 
Yep, I'm just There's room for us to expand going back to build some stuff. Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear up space for construction. First. So yeah, the first thing that you should be going for, a guerrilla tactics school, a GTS. It's absolutely amazing. Right away, Commander. I'll send so we need some engineers here. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out. And you can see that room. we have a we, should we have an okay layout with exposed power coils, uh, in the second level. So it should be okay. Um, that, that means that we can get a sci lab early ish. The outcome of this research can only further our yeah, advances, so we're Commander. Doing the research, I think. I think we got really lucky here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got. Um, During I know the we did. <laughs> office, we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. Yeah, nobody really However, cares about these one, these, we are to proceed these breakthroughs. Down this path, we must do so immediately. Uh, at least this breakthrough. We will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. I don't think I actually go with this one. I think I go down. I don't know. To be honest. I will make oh, we do. Never mind. <laughs> I am wrong. <laughs> I don't know what past me did. What is past me thinking? Strategic resource located. So yeah, an illegal transport truck broke down. Got some supplies. Avenger yes, an engineer. That's really good. You get a lot of uh, engineers this early, um, and it's really helpful because we need them. Commander. As the resistance continues to grow, so we're gonna do we'll have a better chance of finding another the engineer as well. Back at Amazing. As it is, we've already identified a potential target so to disrupt Chris the alien's Dixon operations in this region. We're gonna be grabbing our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Setting course for the Western U.S. precinct. I've gotta wonder how how do they even <laughs> how do they even know who to get, like or where they are? Okay, so here we have Ariel Gladney. Um, we have, yes, Carnage, Elizabeth Rodriguez Carnage. She is my favorite, favorite soldier. Everything about her from her design to, like, she's my favorite sharpshooter. Like, I just, I always, in every playthrough that I do, I make sure that she becomes a sharpshooter. Because uh, she is, she is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love, I love, I love, um, I think it's Master Raven's hair. <laughs> it's, it, and it just like goes all over the place all the time and just clips through all the objects. And it's so, it's so, so hilarious because, like, whenever she's in the ship, it just, um, just goes everywhere. And I think, uh, <laughs> you saw that blow, that, that, um, that hairstyle there. That's actually a glitch because I found that sometimes. If, it, if like the hairstyle resets, um, but yeah, these these are all soldiers from my customized pool. So we have. Nope, I'm being on insights here. What am I going with? <laughs> what am I going with? I don't have a lot of soldiers this this uh, early because I'm just thinking of who I should make because I think I make her a, a grenadier as well. Make, make Helen Doctor Brown. Engineer. We're in oh, the fight. Five by five. The Grenadier. The Grenadiers are very good indeed. But it's just that their movement's so During slow. The scouting operation, our <laughs> friends <laughs> in the resistance picked up readings from a massive Rodriguez's hat is just going just everywhere. everywhere. Just deployed in this and area. it's glorious. If we understand that destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Affirmative. Yep, Moving so... Out. Objective here. Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Yeah, so the thing is, you really want to go for the GTS first, so then you can get the upgrade to get more soldiers as fast as possible. But yeah, Rangers are one of my favorite Styles soldiers. Making the rounds. Because they just have, like, they they are pretty much guaranteed close range kills. Solid copy. Which is amazing. Just moving my soldiers around. 
organizing for an ambush now that I've seen them. Seen the soldiers. No need to ask twice. I actually don't know how this goes, because I haven't done this playthrough. I haven't I haven't done I didn't do this playthrough in so long. But moving out. Hopefully it does go well. <laughs> And they're just moving along the side <laughs> and out of my vision <laughs> conveniently. So convenient. It's almost as if they know I'm here. Seems doable. <laughs> and they spotted me from there. It's one thing that I it's that's like the one pet peeve I have about um about about XCOM 2. It's just like the ambush system is like, so if you get seen, you just get absolutely massacred. Like, um, so the thing is, it relies on ambush tactics quite a lot. And yeah, I got my slash there. Oh, and I activated another group. <laughs> this is about like the worst. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Luckily, it was just a... I think I reload here because I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to survive, unfortunately. Although I think I probably could have made that out um, if I was lucky. I was just really annoyed that, that I managed to activate that, um, that, that advent soldier from there. So I'm just thinking of moving in a little closer and hopefully setting up an okay. Overwatch ambush. Because the thing is, if you... Overwatch from stealth, it actually, there's no Overwatch penalty, because normally penalty, uh, Overwatch shots have a slight penalty, I think it's 10%. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. On the move. So I'm just moving back here, because I don't want to activate both groups at the same time. Good copy. Moving on target. So, the thing is, uh, these psionic missions are usually pretty tight. Uh, you, you, yes, you can destroy the the psionic transmitters, but I don't want to do that I'm just going. yet. Otherwise, I'm going to break stealth. And she still sees me. Just what? <laughs> I'm so. I think. I think I was just like. I was like, what? That, that is so unfair. <laughs> I was. I was completely out of it. I'm actually not actually actually when looking at that red marker again. I don't think that she's anywhere near there. I, I just don't understand how how she could have been seen there. Um, but again, I do apologize for reloading. Um, I'm just not very good at XCOM at all. Moving to designated coordinates. I think I tried to set up another Overwatch ambush right here. Moving out. Closing on target position now. Because it's only like three turns till it disconnects, and you don't want to break stealth by destroying one of them, which is just a really, really annoying part. Um, but then again, I do understand the timers. Like, um, otherwise, like in XCOM 1, I would just do Overwatches every second turn, and it became a real slog to play the game. I had a very nice shot by Gluttony. Target neutralized. We're back Ooh, that shotgun blast. Blast, I don't know why it's a blast. <laughs> I didn't expect that would be a hit. And we have... Not a hit. Oh, we do have a hit. For that whiff. From Carnage. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. And another shot. Unfortunately, a miss here, but we're in a pretty good position Advent to has almost pick cut these off guys the transmitter up. From their network. We're running out of time. Yep, I know, Bradford. It's only been like two turns. <laughs> I'm going. I think I try to go in for the the slash here. I think because actually, sectoids are vulnerable to slashes, and. I can't say that I really used Reaper that much, like a a melee style ranger, just because 
it's kind of annoying to set up um, because normally you end up like revealing yourself to many cards and a really good shot there by what did you expect by carnage Elizabeth carnage let's do this just see how beautiful Elizabeth looks I mean that midriff <laughs> that midriff Nike 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 I think I go for that time over there because I just don't have vision I should have moved well done. the point as we the network separation has been temporarily delayed let's do this And we have an ambush coming right in. Slightly annoying, but um, whatever you say. Because they actually don't have that many uh, aliens on this mission, enemies. So they just drop them in instead. So I'm just going to set up a, an Overwatch ambush. Hopefully, take them all out in one fell swoop. Finally. A little annoying though, because there's only two turns until it's reset. It's really a race against time to time these ones. Once you get five soldiers, it becomes a little more accomplishable. Yep, I'm doing a smart overwatch and two advent soldiers. Oh, three advent soldiers. Never mind. Worse than I thought. But luckily there are uh, one of the points there. We got two of them, and the third one is very close, which is very good for me, in fact. Time to eat, consume, devour. Goodbye, Advent Soldier. Seems doable. Although, you do find out later that these Advent Soldiers were previous humans. <laughs> so you're just killing humans. Well, which is not so great, that? but satisfying indeed. That flank, that flank. <laughs> Shot was amazing. Flank, close range, shotgun is exactly why the Ranger is just the guaranteed finisher that you just love. And Illyrium Core, this early as well. Very nice indeed. Uh, Illyrium Core is really useful for Let's do this. experimental ammo and a lot of other things. So we're gonna move right in. Here I come. Uh, running for that, that psionic transmitter, hopefully. I don't want to move too aggressively here, but the timer is running out very soon, so I'm I'm looking Moving. to uh, move up as far as I can as quick as possible, and hopefully delay my eventual boss. Awesome. Yeah, so I just really love the blues, like how how this is color color corrected. Just the hues, and just XCOM 2 is so beautiful, even though it is quite much a very, I'd say, older game. Um, yeah, so I'm just cautious for enemies here. Oh uh, yeah. But there are quite a lot of transmitters here that I, that I can uh, destroy, so I'm not too worried just yet. Actually, no, I am worried. Never mind. There's only one here. But. Better than none. Not a problem. Just moving up all my soldiers. Uh, hoping that there's no other ambushes here. Although, Let's move already. Um, I do recall that they're pretty much all just in the room. <laughs> they're all just hiding there. And a very nice shot. Rock and roll. Just reloading, so we can. We're ready for the next part. Good copy. Moving on target. Kind of did, know, did think that they would be in the room though, just thinking about it, uh, because as you can tell, they're like that's like the only suspicious location here. So the best strategy in XCOM 2 is pretty much move and shoot. So you want to take a blue move and shoot, so then you can get closer to the enemy, reposition yourself Absolutely. to a good position. It's almost not. It's almost always a bad idea. To, uh, um, to stay in your same position and shoot. Uh, that's what I found out. 
the hard way <laughs> uh, in my fifth playthrough. I'm just moving up here. I'm a little bit cautious because I'm, I'm worried that it might be no another pack of enemies that I haven't not. seen quite yet. But lucky for me, they're all in the room. I do have quite a lot of time now. Just the graphics of this game is so amazing. I've always thought uh, what XCOM 2 would look like in like in a more first person kind of I fashion. There are, there are mods, like I, I did discover there's a mod to show XCOM 2 in a first person. Um, but like the way, I'm, I'm talking more about the way it was designed Moving on target location. because uh, just the graphics of this game. Like in the third person you just don't appreciate how beautiful it is. And so yeah, I'm just <laughs> going around the door, I'm just like, yeah there's a bunch of enemies behind that door way. isn't there? Just, <laughs> and I see a glimpse of the enemies there. Because sometimes XCOM 2 just glitches out, and it's just like, oh, Let's rock. the enemies are right there. So I think, oh, I actually, I just go for the. No, I don't. Yeah, because I'm like, there's three times. The transmitter's right there. I might as well go for it straight away. So yeah, and I was just thinking, like, finally. Um, I think I just, time. just wait by the store here. But I was just thinking, uh, on the topic of playthroughs, I've been watching a lot of One Bots and um, Chris Rivard lately. Just to, and th there was, and Chris and One Bot was just saying that, I've got eyes on an yeah, post commentary is really hard. That's a but anyway, let's take these guys Let out. The they can cut and they were just the hiding network. behind the door. I should have overwatched that door. Now I'm doing it. Just like a, a group, a group, <laughs> straight right behind the door. Yeah, so I'm gonna, just gonna go for the flanks. Let's move already. <laughs> I really like to get up close and personal. That's kind of my style. Just to take out every enemy uh, with guaranteed shots. I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> I might, I might, I might try to play through one time where I just go full range. Now, but sharpshoot is actually my favorite class out of all of them because just being able to snipe people from long range and especially once you get the the, uh, the hunter's rifle it is just so satisfying taking entire, entire like, uh, groups of enemies once you have death from above and the assassin's rifle it's just amazing you can't do it on legendary or commander because the enemies just have too much health but Single on veteran, confirmed. just perfect. X4 charges are active. And yes. That transmitter is history. And we do have uh, War of Chosen flawless here, so I am getting some some bonuses uh, for completing missions flawlessly. The only thing that I'm that I just don't like about War of the Chosen flawless is just a lot of the time it forces you to because you want to get you want to get flawless every time, so it makes you reload a little bit more, but for this playthrough, I just decided myself, I'm like, yeah, if I don't get a flawless, I don't get a flawless. Um, yeah, and a beautiful mission, and a mission well done. For your safety, all travel between city centers has been suspended until the recent power system upgrades have been... Yeah. Glad to see our troops finding success in the field. And we're getting some bonds. We're getting some bond mates here. To be honest, um, I kind of, I, I prioritized, I felt like I prioritized bond mates just way too much in this playthrough. And we have a chat person. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. 
If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. A little bit of pressure. A little bit much on the pressure side, don't you think? Just relying on one guy. But yeah. New objective added. We're, yeah, so we're just gonna go hit the black side in this the next episode on all our operations commander our people are standing by for your orders yeah, you have the soldiers. An outstanding job leading the resistance commander commander having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off they know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities Yep. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda Another thing, machine. Thing. I say it's time we turn it these thumbnails. I just don't like how the text is just I don't know. It just we can bolster morale throughout the, the templates are too basic and they just look I don't know, especially the fonts as well. We can start clearing especially coming from Photoshop and just like ah, ah why they look so bad. <laughs> We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're Though I do, I did come so to far, love I seen the thumbnails among the alien in the components left over in this area. So what I'm trying to do here stuff out, we could probably use this is trying to get to that exposed power cell underway, core as fast as possible. Some time to get all that stuff cleared out. So I can get uh, some Scilabs running. Hopefully get an early Scilab and start using... Yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, this is the end for this episode. Thank you for being here and I guess I'll see you in the next episode.